Now we're going to be looking at increasing and decreasing ratios. So in this section, we're going to give you a particular ratio and we're going to try and ask you to increase it in that ratio or decrease it in that ratio. You'll see what I mean when we get to the questions. Starting with 18. Find the new amount if 300 grams is increased in the ratio 6 to 5. Now remember, this is the same as a fraction, it's same as 6 over 5. Now 6 over 5 is going to be in a decimal 1 point something, which means it's going to be increasing that number. Okay, If I multiply a number by anything greater than 1, the original number increases. So all you need to do here guys is simply multiply 300 grams by the ratio 6 on 5. And that's just 360 if you calculate it. And 19. Find the new amount if 240 is increased in the ratio 3 to 2. Now 3 to 2 is same as 3 on 2 as a fraction. So all you need to do is multiply 240 metres by 3 on 2. Now what I want you to do is 240 divided by 2, which is 120, and then you times it by 3, which you get 360. Same here guys, what you need to do is 300 divided by 5, which is 60, times by 6 to get 360. Okay, for those who forgot about how to simplify fractions. 20, find the new amount if 45 kilograms is decreased in the ratio over 8 to 9, which is 8 over 9. Now, 8 over 9 is 0 point something. Okay, so a number less than 1, if you multiply it, it will be a little less than the original number. So all you need to do again, just multiply by the ratio. 45 kilograms times 8 over 9. And you know that 45 divided by 9 is 5 times 8 is 40 kilograms. That's all you need to do. Just simply multiply by that ratio. Find the ratio if 50 kilogram is increased to 70 kilograms. So this time they're not giving us the ratio, but they're giving us the value it increased to. So what you need to do in this case, guys, always put the new amount on the numerator and the original amount on the denominator. So new over old. That's all you need to remember. So the new amount is 70, the old amount is 50. So all you need to do is 70 kilograms over 50 kilograms. And simplify, divide top and bottom by 10. You should get seven over five. And again, remember the ratio doesn't have any units, so you make sure you get rid of the units. 22. Find the ratio if 30 centimetres is decreased to 24 centimetres. So basically what's the new amount? The new amount is the number that it decreased to, which is 24. And that's the old amount, the original amount. So 24 centimetres over 30 centimetres. And just simplify that guys, divide top and bottom by 6 I think, so it's going to be 4 on 5. Okay, and don't put the units there, ratios don't have units. Ratio of 240 grams is increased to 2 kilograms. So new over old, that's the new, that's the old. Now remember guys, what do we need to do? Can anyone tell me? We must change it to the same units. They're not in the same units, right? So let's change 2 kilograms to 2,000 grams because we know that there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram. And then simplify it. Simplify by the common factor. You should get 25 on 3. 24. Find the ratio if 240 centimetres is increased to 3 metres. New over old. That's what we want. We need to convert the units. So change the metres to centimetres. So times that 3 metres by 100 centimetres. So it's like that. And again, divide top and bottom by 60, I guess. And then it's 5 on 4. Okay, that's the answer. So you can see that if it's increased, the numerator should be greater than the denominator. If it's decreasing, the numerator should be less than the denominator. But in this case, you can clearly see the numerator is greater than the denominator. So therefore, it um, reflects the increasing pattern, okay, increasing situation. 25. Find the ratio of 3.6 meters squared is increased to 48,000 centimeters squared. Okay, so new over old. That's all you need to remember, guys. New over old. So that's what we have. Now remember, guys, if I want to change meter squared to centimeter squared, we multiply by two lots of a hundreds. Remember that? 
So the denominator will look like this, 3.6 times two lots of a hundreds. Three, six, er, er, er. Like that, right? Yeah, because we move four pla decimal places to the right. And then you can see that we can cancel out all the zeros. And what's the common factor between 48 and 36? I think it's 12. So it's going to be four on three. 26, find the ratio if 300 gram is decreased to 0 0.25. Whatever decrease or increase, new over old. So 0 0.25 kilograms over 300 grams. Now we're going to convert the units. So let's convert the kilograms to grams. So times by a thousand to get to grams. And you can see that we can cancel the zeros and divide top and bottom by five. You should get five on six. That's the answer. And because it's a decreasing situation, you can see that the numerator is less than the denominator. Okay, so that clearly tells us that it's decreasing. Let's do one more. We can say new to old. So new to old. We need to convert meter cubed to centimeter cubed. So what I'm gonna do is times that by, you guys remember what, how to change that to centimeter cubed? This time, because it's meter cubed, three lots of a hundreds, like that. You can see that we can kind of cancel out all the zeros. So this is going to be one, eight, one, two, three, four, five zeros. And you can see that we can cancel away one, two, three, four, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five zeros. So we just have 12 over 18. The common factor is six. So you can see, oh, well, they've done it for me. And divide top and bottom by six, so it's two on three. Okay, so yeah, it's a good idea to add that step in your working out. Just times out everything and then simplify. Okay, so the answer is two on three. I'll rub this out for you. Okay, I like to I like it when I just cross out all the zeros. So cross out all the zeros first and then simplify by the common factor. And again, as I keep saying, don't have the units in your ratios. Okay, so that's the end of the increase and decreasing ratios.